Hey fam, it's your girl Darlicia Minzi, aka Fervent Servant, and I want to welcome you to the Effectual Fervent Prayer Podcast. I am your host for today's episode, and I'm bringing in a special guest as our intercessor for today. Y'all, if you're watching, you can already see her beautiful face. But if you're listening, I want to introduce to you and to some say hey to my friend, my joint best friend. Her name is Abonlale Alamade Kegi. Wow. She is one of my besties, you guys. I've known her since what 2010. 10-ish. And y'all, when I tell you this girl has poured into my life, when I tell you this girl has a sharpened that iron with the iron sharpening iron, when I tell you this girl is like a supernatural encourager and such a ray of light, such an inspirer, such a hope giver and a hope dealer, such a talented woman all around. When I tell you she's on fire and her intercession is like, whoa, when I tell you that beauty just radiates from her I'm not lying (laughs) I'm telling you the God truth and I'm so excited to introduce to you guys if you don't know her and to bring before you if you do know her Miss Abonale Olamide K Giwa say hey girl you better welcome me girl (laughs) you better welcome me wow there was fire in that welcome though like Abonale Olamide Hey, Giwa. It's actually funny. My name means wealth. I met wealth at home mm. and mel- wealth um, has arrived. So I'm I'm here, y'all. I am yes, here. Geez. Thank you so much for introducing me. Um, it's an honor. It's always an honor. And it's always a pleasure to be on a, uh, you know, platform like this with you. Mm. I don't know what the Holy Spirit is going to do today, <laughs> but I'm so excited. I'm mm. pumped up. I'm fired up. And I'm just like, okay, God, here I am and have your way. way. Um, I am who she said I am. (laughs) I am also uh, a celebrity hairstylist. I am based in Los Angeles, California. I um, am a lover of all things Jesus. I love Christ. That is my boo. That is my everything. (laughs) That's my best friend. That's he's amazing. Um, I'm everyone's home girl, comrade. Like I'm an actress. I'm a writer. I am um, an intercessor. I'm an yeah. artist. Uh, um, I a am rapper. an encourager. I'm a rapper. I'm an encourager. Dancer. I'm, I'm, I'm all of those things, y'all. I, you want to know what I am? I am your modern day renaissance woman. That's who I am. I do it all. Everything arts. Like I'm just, I'm in everything. I'm that one in the Bible where it talks about the, the servant with the five talents. So that's who I am. Yeah. Um, and yes, thanks for having me. Yes, I am so happy to pleasure. be here. <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> to have you here, y'all. You're just going to get a dose of how me and Abon Lale. See, it's just, I got to get used to calling you this, but JBA. You can call me a lot. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we oh, talk on a regular them, basis. But you got to tell them why I'm your JBF. So I'm her JBF because I'm also best friends with her husband. So we talk, <laughs> we, we are JBF's joint best friends. So yes, that's how that came together. Anytime we make it, we say, hey, JBF, what's up, JBF? <laughs> <laughs> I know we're organic. Like, what's that? <laughs> it's, it's, now y'all know. If you're listening in, that's what that is. Listening in. And it's real, y'all. You know, I don't mm. call everybody a best friend, but this is real. When I tell you, I get on the phone with this girl and I be trying to talk for five minutes. No, ma'am. It'd be she want to have me on the phone for eight hours like I'm working a full-time job with her. <laughs> Why you being dramatic? <laughs> okay, four hours. <laughs> okay, maybe five and a half. Maybe five. <laughs> it's just but like that. We don't that. even be realizing that we be on the phone. It's just like long. that. I know. I know. Must be in every room. Like I go from the bedroom to the living room to the office. I, we go everywhere and talk on the phone. It's just how we do. So. I just can tell you that this episode is going to feel like you just at home sitting on the couch talking to your girlfriends, talking to your sister, talking to your cousin or whoever you talk to that you talk to like that, because it's just going to be down to earth and real. And so when I reached out to Alameda and I'm like, girl, I definitely need to have you on the podcast. I know you have that fire prayer, that fervent prayer. And I I just want you to be able to share, you know, a burden that God has on your heart and like a message that he's giving you to share with the people. And she said, stop, 
you are under arrest. I said, wait, hold on, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Stop. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. I'm like, what is that, God? Like, Tell what me. is that? Tell me more. Okay. So let me tell you how that came about. <laughs> it actually dropped in my spirit in the middle of the night morning to today. I'm like, okay, this is what he wants me to talk about. Yeah. Um, before I talk about that, I want to give you a little bit of backstory as to why I believe that came about. Yeah. So in December 33rd, I'm sorry, December 30th, 2020, mm -hmm. no, December 31st, 2020, going into the new year, mm -hmm. I had a dream. And in the dream, I heard very loud and clear the word order. Okay. I'm like, okay, order. All right. But what does that, what does it mean for me? What is, what, what? Yeah. So yeah. I heard that and I've been, you know, thinking about it since January, February, March, April, we're now in April and I, life has been happening. You know, I turned 33 in um, February Yay. Uh, and 33 represents God promises. I'm like, okay, mind you, I'm going through the day. I'm still thinking about the word order and like all of that. Now, up until maybe like three weeks ago, I, um, you know, things life happens. Mm -hmm. You know, you get into these moments where you're just super, just like, God, where am I? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Mm -hmm. I have all of these questions. I'm feeling all of these emotions. I'm in my thoughts. I'm, yeah. I'm just, not feeling like myself yeah um things is happening around me I'm seeing things and I'm just like okay God like you know what's happening yeah. so up until three weeks ago I was in my feelings and I'm, I'm gonna be super transparent on here yeah. today because I believe that's what he wants me to be yeah. in order for me to break through and you all to break through as well yeah so I was in my feelings, you know, things is happening around me for other people. And I'm just like, man, God, like I've been laboring, Lord, like yeah. what's up? Like I've been laboring, I've been praying, I've been fasting, yeah. I've been doing all of these things. And um, I was having like little stuff pop up like here and there, like to test my faith, like yeah. health wise and like stuff is happening around me. And I'm just like, man, God, I am not feeling you right now. Like right. I am... I'm just like, oh, I don't want to feel like this. Right. What's but I believe, I believe that he allowed the stuff to come up because of what he was, where he's preparing to take me into, right? Okay. Okay. And also along with the word order, um, just throughout the month, and I've been saying like, man, this is the year of unleashing as well for me. Yes. Because I, you know, I do a lot of things. I'm in a lot of things, but for a long time, I suppressed it or I was nervous or I was fearful because I'm just like, how am I going to sound? What am I going to look like? How is it going to go? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? And he's like, baby, you need to, you need to let go. Like you need to just move yourself out of the way and let me have my way. Yeah. So he's saying that, I believe he's saying like, this is the year of unleashing for you. You are going to be unleashed into some things mm. and I'm going to unleash things unto you. That's but Okay, go, go. Go, 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 go. go. But, <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Me, but, go, but. <laughs> but. In order for the, it, or, uh, things cannot be unleashed unto you or you be unleashed in two things until there's order. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that's why I heard order. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm 33. I'm just like, Lord, where my husband at? I want to have mm -hmm. kids, all of these different things. And I'm, I, I want to work on this project. I want to work with this person. Like all of these things, I have all of these desires, but things hasn't happened the way I thought on the yeah. time manner that I thought it would happen. So now I'm feeling in my feelings. Yeah. Now I'm feeling like, man, God, you don't care about me. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you're overlooking me. You don't hear me. You don't see me. Like you don't feel me because if you did, then I won't be feeling how I'm feeling mm. again. I feel like all of what happened these past few weeks was a setup to even right now, me being on this podcast. Wow. So I'm, 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 I'm coming to him now because the word says to come boldly into the throne of grace to up save, to, up, to obtain yes. mercy. Yes. I'm like, okay, God, I know I'm feeling all of these things. Me in and of myself, I'm too weak to carry it. So I'm going to bring this to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring those things. It says it in the word, you know, 
God will perfect those things that concern within you, right? So if I'm sitting here wallowing in the things that I'm feeling, God cannot perfect my concerns because I'm not bringing it to him. Yes. So now I'm just like, okay, God, I'm going to bring you this. This don't feel good, man. I'm yes. talking about crying, yes. ugly crying, snorting, like why and kicking and yeah. all of these things. I'm just doing all of this, all of this stuff. Yeah. Stop. Stop. You are under arrest. When you hear stop, <laughs> when you hear stop, you are under arrest. What's the first mm-hmm. thing that come to mind? Be still, halt, don't go no more. Stop. Yeah. You are under arrest. Mm-hmm. When I heard that, I'm like, oh, that's what you're telling me spiritually. Mm-hmm. Get out of your feelings, mom. You can mm-hmm. feel, but don't stay there. Mm-hmm. You can kick but you need to stop kicking. You can try to fight, but you need to stop because my plans for you is greater than the minute plans that you Mm -hmm. have for yourself. Mm. Mm. Stop. Stop. You're under arrest. When I thought about that, I thought about, you know, you, you hear that like from a police person, a person that's in charge or a person that's in like authority, like the law. Stop. You're under arrest. So when they say that to a person, that person has two options. Okay. They either resist arrest. Yes. Or they surrender to arrest. Yes. That resisting, it's going to be a fight. They're yes. going to be running away and trying to get away from the police officer and all of that. And there's different things that happen when you resist arrest. Yes. When you resist arrest, some people end up, you know, getting shot. Yeah. Killed. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Harmed. Mm-hmm. All different type of things happen when you resist arrest. Yeah. But when you surrender to arrest, when you stop and become up under arrest, Mm -hmm. you're you're in you you are in uh I don't want to say good hands Mm -hmm. because um, sometimes the police they be a little fickle, you don't know what to expect, Mm -hmm. but you know that you you won't be harmed Mm -hmm. the likelihood you come out the likelihood Mm -hmm. it it will come out different because you're not resisting but you're surrendering like okay you know what i give up here Mm -hmm. i am Mm -hmm. stop you're under arrest i'm like okay god what is arrest Mm -hmm. um and i went to go look it up and it means to put in custody okay and remind me to come back to that word custody because that's this that's a whole nother reminder that's a whole nother something (laughs) remind me to come back to the word custody Mm -hmm. to put into custody for breaking the law yeah. Arrest means to take in, to pick up, to pull in, to seize. When you see something, yeah. you're taking a hold of it by force. Yes. Like it's a sudden thing, right? Yeah. Someone by legal authority to stop. Yeah. Legal authority. When I was looking, when I saw that word, I'm like legal authority. Because when, when I heard God tell me to stop, I'm right. under arrest. He's my legal authority. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Under, under arrest. When you are under arrest, you check the progress or a process of someone. Mm -hmm. Like when you are under arrest, excuse me, when you are facing arrest, um, the criminal activities, you're pretty much being the criminal activities that whoever that person is, Mm -hmm. like when the police or that person that's in law tell them to stop, you're under arrest, Mm -hmm. you're pretty much ceasing. You're at rest. Mm-hmm. You're stopping whatever they are being chased for. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a it's a stopping motion. Yeah, it's come to a halt. It it has come to an halt. Excuse mm-hmm. me, halt. Everything stops yeah. when you are under arrest. Going back to me kicking, mm-hmm. resisting, fighting, being in my feelings, being emotional, mm-hmm. just doing all of these things. He's like, okay, are you done now? Stop. <laughs> yeah. You're under arrest. Yeah. I want to take a little bit of what you've said there and kind of discuss this more with you and and bring the audience in. Y'all, is there something in your life that's going on or a situation or a relationship Mm. or a thought or a feeling or a whatever where you also have Mm. the need to stop and come under arrest? Is there a place or a thing or a person that just seems so chaotic and so out of your control where you're constantly running and running and you're striving and you're striving and you're working and you're working and you're thinking and overthinking and you're just like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. I wish this was over. When is the end? And God is just saying, stop. Like you don't even have to. 
You don't even have to, but because of your own, she said earlier, limited thinking, your limited plans, your small vision. When God is the one that's outside of time and outside of space and he sees and knows what's coming up ahead and who we're to become in all of that. Come and on. he says, stop, I don't know. Somebody you're knows. under arrest. What you know you what think? that is? What? It's a holy interruption. Okay. A holy interruption. Y'all write that down. A holy interruption. Come on. When you are under arrest, under the spirit of God. Yeah. yeah. It's a holy interruption. Mm -hmm. it's pretty much relinquishing control mm -hmm. you are restraining from further motion and all of the things that you are feeling y'all when we are under arrest it's, it's simply just surrendering surrender that's the place surrendering mm -hmm. think about hey thank you holy spirit think about when that that police force or whoever say stop you're under arrest what do they do they throw mm -hmm. their hands up mm -hmm. When you throw your hands up in the church, when you throw your hands up to God, what is that? That's a sign of surrendering. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. You're under arrest. Yeah. yeah. Surrenderance. It's, a, it's, 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 it's you voluntarily canceling everything that you had in mind. Wow. Say that again. Surrender is. Surrenderance is you voluntarily canceling everything you had in mind. Wow. It's a choice. Hey, wow. Surrenderance is a choice. Hmm. It's a sacrifice without struggle. Ah. Oh. That's what surrender is. You're sacrificing something. You're laying something down. You're, you're pulling, you're, it's like your willingness to do something. Like, you know what? I'm not going to have somebody tell me to do this. I'm going to do it because this is what I want to do. Yeah. That's surrendering. Because I want to do this relinquishing control mm. yielding mm. stopping the resistance mm. to agree to stop fighting mm. i had to make a conscious decision last week a conscious decision i ha i made a vow i said god mm. i surrender to you mm -hmm. you said it in your word in isaiah 55 you said your ways are not my ways yeah your thoughts are not my thoughts. What I have in mind is not what you have in mind. Yeah. I want to give, I want to bring you and, 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 and cause you to see things you've never seen. Yeah. I want to take you places you've never been, but you cannot get there until you surrender. Until you surrender. Why do you think people have a hard time surrendering and coming under arrest, uh, God arrest? It's control. Mm -hmm. That spirit of control. You want it to go how you want it to go. Mm -hmm. People or, or people don't know how to, to, to submit. I think it's a, it's a submission thing as well. Yeah. Oh, you can't tell me what to do. Like, you know how people don't want to submit to authority or they feel like they in control. Mm -hmm. I also feel like it's a flesh thing. Mm -hmm. It's war. Mm -hmm. Your flesh want what it wants <laughs> mm -hmm. and your spirit knows what it needs. Mm. so it's a constant war your flesh knows what it wants and your spirit knows what it needs your flesh wants what it wants and your spirit knows what it needs what it needs wow and that, wow. the reference for that is galatians 5 and 17 wow for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit yeah. and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh yeah and they keep each other from doing what they ought to do yeah yeah, yeah. it's war war every day every single day and that's why we got to put on our armor mm. and that's why we need to welcome the holy spirit, holy spirit. shout out to good morning holy spirit every first and third monday i'm gonna put y'all <laughs> on real quick <laughs> come on <laughs> we gotta welcome the holy spirit in every avenue in every area in yeah. every place I attended this, the she shared last week talking about making room for god, room for god. hey when you surrender you're making room for god yes. to do what it is he wants to do that's right and when you think about it your life is in the palm of his hands yes. so why wouldn't you surrender yes yes why wouldn't you surrender to someone that knows everything about you Woo. that knows the plans that he has for you says the lord says the lord that all of his promises are yes and amen. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I surrender? 
Because the thing is, you keep going and going and going in your plans and doing things your way. Yeah. He gonna go ahead and turn you over to that stuff to show you like, this is why I don't want you. This is not why you want to want that. I'm gonna let you try what you want though. I'm gonna let you try it. Go ahead. <laughs> you begging me, you praying, you fasting, all of that. And you, you doing all of this extra stuff yeah. to get my attention. You got my attention. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go ahead and give you um, something that you think you want to show you this is not what you want. Yeah. God will wreck your plans when he sees that your plans are about to wreck you, I'm a, I can testify about that. Wow. He will wreck your plans when he sees that your plans are about to wreck you. When you are, when you call yourself a believer, hmm. when you really call yourself a believer and you come into uh, this life union with Christ, mm -hmm. you got to thank God for that. You yeah. got to start thanking God for the things that he don't allow to happen. Amen. Because you don't know if he, that very thing that you want so bad, you don't know how that can be a detriment to your future or your purpose. Amen. So, so we need to stop and come under arrest. Come on, come on we need in. To stop and, and, and let him assess us. Let him book us. <laughs> let him come in and see what possessions we have. Let him come and search us in and out. Create in me mm. a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Search my heart and see if there be any offendable way in me. Cleanse me with hyssop and with myrrh. Wash me. Make me clean white as snow. That's what David was talking about. <laughs> he had to stop often and come under arrest. Come on. Come on. Because the thing is, we're not perfect and none of us are. Even though some may portray it, None of yeah. us are perfect. So actually there's all of us. There's something in all of us that needs to stop. Stop throwing a fit. Stop throwing a tantrum. Stop thinking I think you about know the it story all. in the Bible with the man with the unclean spirit. And when Jesus cast him out, it made the man go into a seizure because the spirit didn't want to come out. Sometimes we just throwing a fit with the spirits that we're dealing with because they come don't want to come out. They want to have their come way on. with us. But when mm -hmm. Holy Spirit comes in the mix, he don't share space. He doesn't share space. He wants his own space. He wants his own vessel. And so we have to make a decision, as you were saying, to stop and come under arrest, come underneath the authority of renounce, separate, divorce mm -hmm. those things that are not serving God's purposes. Come out of agreement with those things yep. that draw us from him and then come into agreement with the Holy Spirit and become one with him so that we can be in his possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta let him book us. Sometimes we... <laughs> when somebody gets come arrested, on. they have to come out of their own way. Come, come out of their own, own pursuit, out of their own vain, you. vain pursuits. <laughs> Relinquishing That's control. Vain pursuits. Do being about our own life, having our own goals, our own plans, doing our own thing, living by our own standards and wanting God to bless that. No, ma'am. No, sir. Yeah. You got to come under arrest, come into the authority of. Come, come under on. The, you got to yield to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you, you gotta, to go back yeah, yeah. to custody because you said come back to custody. Come on, today. baby. Yes, 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 yes. I was like, hey. <laughs> come on back. <laughs> go there. I was just waiting for you to go ahead and put that period at the end of there your you sentence, go. baby. There you go. Custody. <laughs> you said you got to get booked. Yeah. You got to be taken into custody. Yeah. I looked up custody and it means the protective care. Ah. The protective care oh. or guardianship of someone or something. Wow. Guidance. Wow. Trust. When you are in custody, you are under supervision. Yeah. You are under someone else's control. Your care. Yeah. They are responsible for you. Yes. Come on. Come on. Break it down for us. Now that you are under arrest. We talking about under arrest in the spirit. Yeah. We talking about yielding to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We talking about coming under the protective care of God. We're, we're talking about him being responsible because we are his inheritance. Yes. Him being responsible of um, us when you come into custody, when you come into that, wow. um, that, 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 uh, what is it? Protective care. Yeah. You know that nothing will harm you. Wow. You know that you are untouchable. Come on. You know that you are, nothing can come near you. There's a shield around you. Yes. And you got to think about it. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on and descend down upon me. 
when you are when when someone is being put they're booked they're under the you know supervision of the the law the force they're being put in a cell yeah they're put, being put in a jail yeah. that's protection they gotta be held yeah yeah that's protection yeah that protective care we're under when we when we are under arrest when we are in custody mm -hmm. with god that's a covering mm -hmm. Mm. he's literally protecting us from us mm. he's protecting us from the things that we think we want or the things we think we need mm. stop mom mm. you're under arrest under arrest wow what i hear you saying as far as being in custody and being in the cell is that something that we look at as a restriction is actually a place actually, of protection exactly that's it that's it because what happens when someone has done something, we just own this whole legal system thing. What happens when someone has done something and now they're under arrest and they're going into jail? It's keeping them mm. from there being retaliation on their life out there yep. in the street. Yep, yep. It's holding yep. them so they can see to it what, what's going to be next for them. But it's also keeping their life out of outward danger. Yeah. And earlier you said that the flesh is at war with the spirit and the spirit is at war with the flesh. And actually my pastor has taught us that there's three different enemies. There's your flesh, there's a world system, and then there's Satan. Yep. These are three big, major, strong forces, three big, Ooh. major enemies that are coming against your spirit. That And we know that we win in the spirit, the spirit is life. So that lets me know the spirit is so strong yeah it's yeah yeah so yeah mighty. and if we would learn to yield uh, to the spirit of god the spirit of god that lives in us can even be strengthened and made bigger to win yeah, that war. yeah 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 but we yeah. resist arrest yeah which brings more harm as you were talking about it may bring more harm it may bring to you shot. to me yeah 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 to me yeah this has nothing to do with the officer it has nothing yeah. to do with the people in the community nothing to do with anybody but me stop whoever's listening to this whatever it is that you're warring against stop whatever it is that you're allowing to happen in your mind and in your body and in your home stop come on come on you're under arrest don't freak out don't lose faith don't lose hope don't look outward for your salvation your salvation comes from the lord only you will yeah, not find yeah, yeah, it yeah, i will yeah, repeat yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah, will yeah. not find it in man you will not find it in woman. You will not find it in substance. You will not find it in a habit. Mm. You will not find it in a little G gods. You will not stop. <laughs> you've been searching. You've been running. You've been looking. You've been wanting answers. You've been trying to find solution. You've been looking for rest. Come to me, all who are Come on. And yeah, 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 I yeah. will give you rest. Yeah. Look to the hills from which come in your help and your strength. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, and the King yeah. of glory shall come in. Throw up your hands, every tongue shall confess, every knee shall bow. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop trying to figure it out. Yep. Stop trying to find yep. it. Yep. <laughs> Stop. You are under arrest. And then when you're under arrest, that word arrest, you can be at rest. Like you can rest in him. He's all knowing. Yeah. He's El Roy, the God who sees. Mm. He's Jehovah Mekadesh. He is our shepherd. Boy. He said it in, in the that the um, what is it? Psalm 23. Mm. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He make me to lie in green pastures. Yes. He leads me beside the still yeah. waters. He restores my soul. Yes. He leads me down the path of righteousness yes. for his name's sake. Yes. So yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. For you are with me. Yeah. Your rod and your staff, it yeah. comforts me. Yes. You prepare you a comfort. table for me. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. When you are under arrest, there's comfort. Yeah, yeah. When you come up under the arrest of the Holy Spirit, yeah. there is comfort. Yes. He can anoint your head with oil and cause your, your cup to overflow. Yes. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell yes. in the house of the Lord forever. Stop. Yes. 
You're under arrest. Yes. When you are under arrest, you are giving up your attachment to specific beliefs or mm -hmm. preconceived ideas and yeah. desires, that, uh, like desirable outcomes, how yeah. things should be and be at rest in the wisdom of a greater divine knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Giving up, letting go. Yeah. You can't be under arrest with your hands closed. No, no. <laughs> how you going to receive with your hands closed? Mm. When you surrender, you're, you, are, you are pretty much opening your hands to receive from God. Mm. The very thing you kicking and priming and doing all this extra mm. stuff from. There needs to be a great exchange. Exchange. I got to give something up. Come on. I have to That's give something up. That's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's literally a sacrifice. We're talking about sacrificing right now in this moment. And I was reading um, Romans 12. Uh, and we're, you know, a lot of us are familiar with that. But I was reading the Passion Translation. Mm -hmm. Romans 12, 1 through 2, it says, Beloved friends, what should be our um, proper response to God's marvelous mercies? Mm -hmm. To surrender uh -huh. yourselves to God, to be his sacred living sacrifices. Uh -huh. You know, surrender is worshiping to God. Yes. Surrender is music to God's ears. Mm. Because when you surrender, you're pretty much telling God, like, you can do whatever you want to do, God. Mm -hmm. You can have your way in me, God. Mm. You can move in me. Yes. You can direct me. You can instruct me. You can show me. Trust because me. you're surrendered. You can, I can trust you. You can mm. trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you surrender and it says, and live in holiness, yeah. experiencing all that delights his heart mm. for this becomes your genuine expression of worship. Yes. Verse two says, this is the part that got me. I was like, oh, snaps, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed. This outward stuff, the word this stuff today. don't matter. It's about the inward. It's about the heart. It's about motives. Mm. It says, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation mm -hmm. of how you think. Oh my God. When I was, when I was in my feelings, hey, Rebe Kosha, when I was in my emotions, when I was kicking, when I was just like, God, you don't care about me. God, you don't see me. God, you don't feel me. It's like, what did I allow in to get to the point where I'm talking like that? Yeah, there's an open something. What did I allow in? Mm -hmm. how, am I, how am I allowing the outward mm -hmm. affect my inward? Yeah, come on. How am I allowing the outward, the stuff that I'm seeing that God is doing for other people to affect my posture and my positioning of my surrender? Mm. Because when you begin to let out, outside forces get in, you're not, you're not going to be operating in your fullest potential right. anymore. It's going to be tainted. Okay, baby. So now yeah. you're going to be moving contingent upon what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When this verse is pretty much saying to be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And will he transform? Another version says the, 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 the renewal is yeah. a constant thing. This is yes. a daily practice. Yes. And I'm not just saying it just to say yeah. it. I'm literally talking to myself as I'm looking at you, Darlisha. Yes. The reformation of how you think this will empower you to discern God's will. I love that. This will empower you to discern God's will. Oh. I got to stay where the peace of God is. I got to stay in the presence of God. I got to stay in worship. I got to stay sacrificing my mind, my heart, mm -hmm. my body, my soul, my spirit, my everything daily. Mm -hmm. I literally got to throw myself at the altar of God yeah. daily. Yeah. Because this, this life is not my own. I don't belong to me. I don't belong to me. I didn't make me. I didn't make me. And then I'm sitting here like, God, well, you made me like this. You created me. He said, no, baby, you let stuff in. I didn't create you like that. <laughs> Say, let's be real about Come being on. real. Come on. You yes. let stuff in. Yes. So what I heard you, you say is that before the transformation and before this discernment and all of these things that the scripture was saying there, that there had to be a surrender. Come on. At you the very top. To. 
You have to. It says to, to, to surrender yourselves to God to be his sacred living sacrifices. That also says to me that I was already made his sacred living sacrifice, but somewhere along the line, I left something in. Something changed, right? Something changed. So now I have to give that back up so I can return back to my rightful position is what I hear you it saying. Is. That's what And then it when is. I'm in my and rightful position, <laughs> that transformation begets, transformation begets, transformation begets, transformation inside of me first and then outside of me is what I hear you saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And this last sentence says to this will empower you. So once the uh, reformation comes in, the transformation comes in, this will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in his eyes. Well, that's wonderful. God wants us to have a satisfying life. Yeah. God wants me to have a beautiful life. God wants me to be at peace. He wants it. He said, my peace, I give unto you. My peace, I live with, leave with you. Not how the world gives it. So why am I going to the world to, 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 to fill me up in only a way God can? Mm -hmm. Why am I allowing these outside sources? Why am I allowing seeing other people, you know, get chose or get in relationships mm -hmm. or, or get projects or get, or why am I allowing all of these things to come in and affect my position in with God? Yeah, that's good. That's because I got out of the presence. Mm. We got to stay in the presence of God. It can shake. We got to stay in the presence. Yeah. We have to stay in the presence yeah. in order for me to continue continuously be up under arrest. When you are yeah. up under arrest, you are in the presence. That's what it is. Yeah. You are surrendering. Mm. You are being still and knowing that God is God. That he is God. So that he can be exalted in the nation. So that he can be yes. exalted in everything. Yes. Yes. I want to say something. When you are like under that. arrest. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to, I want you to finish Ooh. your thought though. When you're under arrest. <laughs> I'm, man, I, I'm, hey, when you are <laughs> under arrest, you are decreasing. Hmm. You are allowing him to increase in you when you are under arrest. Mm -hmm. When you are under arrest, you're letting God be at rest in you. Mm. You're letting him come live in you. You're letting him come, come, come dwell with you. Mm. You're letting him come abide in you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're letting him come. And he's like, I, 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 I want to be like this with you. I want to be entwined with you. There's this rhythm that I want to have with you, but you trying to go do this and go do that but he's like no yes come up under arrest yes come boldly into the throne of grace i don't know how you bringing this come boldly right now Lord. okay come boldly into the throne of grace so that you can obtain mercy yeah 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 so that you can obtain mercy yes and we will find grace to help us in our time of need yes these past few weeks I need, needed the grace of God and didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. These past few weeks, instead of allowing my feelings to rule me, I needed to be put up under arrest to know that I am in God's protective care. care he yeah. don't want to hurt me. He don't want to harm me. His word says it. Mm -hmm. That's a truth. That's yes. going to cancel every lie. Yes. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, Lon. Plans to prosper you and not to fail you to bring you a future in an expected end. Yes. But then that next verse said, if you seek me earnestly, you will find me. Yes, earnestly. Earnestly. Yeah. So now, hey, I'm desperate. Yes. Now I'm like, okay, God, I get it. Mm -hmm. He like, okay, you done kicking, you done fighting. You are you you ready now? Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Cut it out. You know, like when a kid is doing something they're not supposed to be doing, get, get, get out, get out of that thing. Stop <laughs> touching it. You get, there's something that comes up up in you. You just say, stop. Mm. What do the, the kid do? They, they get started. Like they stop. That's what happened to me, y'all. Mm. That's literally what happened to me. Now I can move. I'm, I'm still feeling a little, you know, what I'm feeling. Cause mm. the, the, it, it doesn't negate that I, it, everything just goes yeah. away. Yeah. But my posture, my positioning, my my the the my mindset is has shifted. Has shifted when you come up under arrest. Also, come on, Holy Spirit. 
things are pointed out. Yeah. Things are shown to you like this white, this not what you're supposed to be doing. Checking you the record. You, you checking the record. You can't, you, record, it, yeah. you can't be doing this. Yeah. Habits, mindset, mm-hmm. behaviors, all of these things are okay, Lord, exposed. Yeah. When you are under arrest. That's right. Things are exposed. That's right. Here I am, Lord. Yeah. Here I am, God. I surrender to you. Yeah. I submit to you. Yes, God. I give myself away so that you can use me. Yes. I give myself away that you so that you can flow through me. Yes. I sacrifice myself without struggle. I give myself away. I give my mind away. I give my heart away. I give my will away. Because it's a will thing. It's a will thing. We were just talking about in Romans 12 about this, the, us after we go through the process of surrendering, transformation and uh, reformation, it says then you will, th- this will empower you to discern the will of God. I can't discern the will of God if I'm still operating in my will. I can't. Yes, that's good. I just can't. Because he doesn't share space again. Again, making room. Yeah. Making room. Yeah. Causing yourself to be sensitive. Yeah. Like, God, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Jacob wrestled with the angel of God. I'm desperate, God. I need you. I need you. I'm bringing my weaknesses to you, God. I'm bringing my, the things that I have in mind to you, God. I'm bringing my, my wants, my needs, my desires. I'm bringing all of these things to you because, God, I, this thing is going to drive me crazy. Stop wrestling with God. Stop, stop restraining. Stop, I'm sorry, stop resisting the rest. Because he knows something that you don't know. He's protecting you from something that you don't know. I don't know what he's protecting me from. So you got to get tired of yourself. You got to get tired of yourself. You got to. You're not God. You can't do what he do. He said in man, some things are possible. <laughs> Line and you, some things are possible. Dalicia and you, some things are possible. The audience and y'all, some things are possible. But in God, all things are possible. Amen. So why not surrender? Amen. Why not surrender to what's possible? Amen. Who's possible? Amen. Stop. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Yeah, I just want to talk to the listeners and the watchers for a little bit. Um, just to take mm. in what Alameda has shared um, today and mm. pull out those points that are just so real for you right now in your life. Where are those areas where you're running and you're trying to get away from and you're pulling and you're tugging and you're resisting because you still want to be in control of that area because yeah. you want it to happen how you want it to happen only and you're not willing to yield yet to the authority of Christ. I want you to think about that area in your life and then think of what all you can do and I want you to realize that even after you've done all that you can do it still wouldn't be all that God can even scratch the surface with that given the definitions that we've talked about today that when you come underneath the protective care of God because you've uh, yielded to the arrest of the Holy Spirit and you've come in underneath his protective care and you've allowed him to put a shield around you and then you've allowed him to look up your record so they can point some things out to you so he can then clean it up. Come on. The whole point of jail or prison is supposed to be for a reformation. And she talked earlier about a transformation. And as she was speaking and she was doing a Psalm 23 and she was just talking about how goodness and mercy is going to follow us all the days of our life. That's what's going to stop your paranoia. 
Yeah, yeah. That's what's yeah. going to stop you looking over your shoulder and wondering in your mind and biting your fingernails off and being up all night and having to ask everybody for their opinion and for their advice because you don't know which way to go. That's what's going to stop it when you come under arrest. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. The Holy Spirit. When you hmm. allow for him to come and put his arms around you and yeah. then speak truth and life into you, when you can ride in the back seat of his car and let him drive. With the windows down. The top window, down. Let the wind come in. Let the peace of come God. On. Hey, shot come on. Hey, cool. You can get the breath of God in you so you can be restored and renewed and revived again so that you can then go back out into society and do what you needed to do with a different heart and with a different mind. Yeah. Some of you who are listening have been exhausting yourself. Some of you who are listening have been wearing mm. yourself sick, literally sick. And the rope is so thin that you think you're going to fall at any moment. And God is saying to you through Alameda, stop. You're under arrest. I'm trying to get your attention. I am trying to get you to something. What God has revealed to me is that him as a deliverer is not just taking something out of you. It's doing that. And then after he takes it out of you, he delivers something to you. Yeah. It's a packaging system. I'm going to take something out so I can put something in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never yeah. wants to leave you empty. He never wants mm -hmm. to leave you without. He never wants you to go without what you need. Yeah. So when you stop pursuing vain things, when you stop trying Ooh. to reach the end and be the first and be the top and be the only, those things will come when mm -hmm. you do it God's way. Yeah. But when you're looking for the approval of man, of family members, hello, somebody, when you're looking for the approval of friends, <laughs> You're looking for the approval of a boss. You're looking for the approval of whoever and wherever. Mm -hmm. yeah. You lose sight of where your hell comes from and where promotion really comes from. Then you're going to be chasing, chasing, chasing the wind. It talks about that in Ecclesiastes. You're going to be chasing the wind and it's all going to be vain and for what? But when you stop and come, to, come under arrest, mm -hmm. you allow Holy Spirit to get your attention. You allow him mm -hmm. to put you in some restraints. There's some things come that on, you might come stop. On. There's some things that you can't continue in. There's some things that you can't chase in anymore, that you can't dwell upon anymore. Some people that you might not be able to be around anymore. If life is really going to be a transformation, she talked about a transformation. And if you really want to have discernment so that you don't go any old way, toss to and fro like the waves by the wind so that you're not a double, a double minded man, unstable in all of his ways so that you're not fitting in and conforming when he clearly tells us do not be conformed. Hey, yeah, there's some standards here, y'all. Yeah. There's standards when you live a life with God. Yeah. He is a God of standard. And he's a God who wants to get you to his best. Yeah. His best in his perfect yeah. will. Thank God for the permissive will, but thank God for his perfect will. And you get to live yes, and Lord. thrive in that. Yes. You get to exist and breathe in his perfect will when you stop hmm. and come under arrest. Yeah, and, and you're talking in okay. one area. Mm -hmm. Let me do this last point. I'm gonna let you go, and I'm yeah, gonna yeah. pray. Okay, not just the rest in one area. See, some of you are like, "Well, he got me over here." Mm. What about the yeah. rest of your life? God don't share space. I'm gonna continue to remind you. God don't share space. He don't. He don't. He don't share space. <laughs> So you're going to either be with him or you're Ooh. going to be against him. So allow him space in. When he arrests you, when God yeah. arrests you, a person get arrested, not just they on go, they whole person go. The whole thing. <laughs> the whole body goes. The mm. whole body is now in that condition, in that state, in that protective Hallelujah, area, in Jesus. that situation, in custody, the whole oh, body. God, 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 so God, if there's God, a God, part God, of your God, God, life God, God, that you God, God, get to yield. Yeah. And then you find yourself struggling or having a hard time or second guessing or whatever it is for you. Yeah. Come under arrest in that area. Don't just mm -hmm. let God peek into one little part and think that you're in his perfect will. Let him breathe on you. Let him breathe in you. Let him mm -hmm. cover you and surround you. Let him come. And what she said, a divine, what you say, a holy intervention. What did you say? A divine <laughs> holy interruption. A holy interruption. <laughs> Yeah. Let him come in with a holy interruption and then get you back on that street in that narrow, the road less traveled, the lane mm -hmm. that he has just for you, just for you. Yeah. Go mm -hmm. ahead, sis. I, I it's, this is good. I was as you were talking, I was thinking about like to um 
verses. Um, one of the verses is James 4, 7 and 10. And it says, submit yourselves. Mm -hmm. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. And then verse 10 says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. The part in um, seven, it says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. When you come up under arrest of God, the enemy has to get away from you. Yes. When you submit yourself to God, these demonic attacks, these forces, anxiety, yes. worry, uh, fear, mm -hmm. um, low self-esteem, those are devils. Yeah. That stuff has to flee from you yeah. when you come up under arrest, when you That's surrender, it. when you submit to the will of God. There's and no it says, clearance humble it. yourself. There's no clearance. You have to humble yourself. When you are up under arrest, you're pretty much humbling yourself. Wow, okay. I just had a vision of when a, when a law is arresting someone, mm -hmm. they start up and then they go all the way down mm -hmm. to the ground. Mm -hmm. Especially if it, it was one arrest that they had to struggle with a mm -hmm. little bit. They got to put that thing, you got to go dope, you got to go low. Stop you up under arrest. Wow. That's humility. When you are up under arrest, when you are surrendering, when you are su submitting, it's humility. And then he told me, about, he just brought Galatians 2 and 20 to me, the Amplified version. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. Yeah. That is in him, I have shared his crucifixion. Yeah. It is no longer I who live, but Christ that lives in me. Yes. The life I now live in the body, ah. I live by faith, adhering to, relying on, and completely trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave him himself up for me. Wow. If we call ourselves believers, if we call ourselves Christians, if we call ourselves like disciples of God, when Christ died on the cross, Everything that I was just going through was nailed with him. Every My old nature, everything about me, it says anyone that belongs to God is a new cre creature, excuse me, creature. Behold, the old is gone, the new has come. Yes. It's a renewal daily. Yes. I don't have to allow these things to consume me, but I can consume them with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I can call down fire from heaven yes. and command heaven to come down on my situation. Yeah. Because I was given, I was given that authority. Yeah. I was given that right. You know how to be like, uh-uh, I, I got my, I know my rights. And they get it. When the police come with a law, you start saying, mm -hmm. <laughs> you start saying mm -hmm. what you know. Mm -hmm. Because you're not about to come up in here and arrest me. What did I do? I didn't do nothing. Some people right. ain't did nothing, but they want to arrest. I know my rights. I know my rights. I know who I belong to. Mm. I know whose I am. So when he says stop, you're under arrest, it shouldn't even be a struggle. Mm. It should be like, okay, yes, Lord. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I am. The part in that scripture, it says, it is I who no longer lives. Yeah. This, I don't, I don't know how else to stress it, but we don't belong to ourselves, y'all. Mm -hmm. We are literally here to be, for God to be glorified through us. Mm -hmm. We are here to be Jesus' hands and feet on this earth. Mm -hmm. We're here to be clay, not the potter, but clay. Right. So if mm -hmm. he want to mold me in this mm -hmm. and shape me and twist me and whatever, yeah. and he want, I'm supposed to surrender to that. I'm supposed to submit to that. Wow. Because why? This life is not my own. It's not mine. Wow. Stop. 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 I literally see him doing this. Stop. Mm -hmm. I just stop it. Mm -hmm. You stressing yourself out, Lon. Mm -hmm. Stop. You stressing yourself out, Delicia. Stop. Mm -hmm. You stressing yourself out, y'all. Stop. Just mm -hmm. stop it. He said, Who can add a day to the life I worry? A moment. Come on. Who can add a moment? Come on. Not even one of us because we don't control time. Can you pray for the people today, please? Yeah, yeah. Let's get I into can. it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you, 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 God. We will be still and know that you are God so that you can be exalted in the nations right now, Father. We lift your name on high because you are worthy to be praised, God. You are Elohim. You are Adonai, Father God. You are Jehovah, Father. You are Rapha, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. You are our shepherd, Father. You are Shalom and Shiloh, oh God. You are Mekadesh in the name of Jesus. You are my Uzi, Father. You are God, Emetz, God of truth in the mighty name of Jesus. That is who you are, Father God. That is who you are, God. Lord, we honor you, God. We bless you, Father, God. We exalt your holy name, Father. We put you at the throne of our hearts, Father. We put you in your rightful place, Father. We put you exactly where you belong in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We ask that you will forgive us of all sins, God. We ask, God, that you will forgive us, God, for falling short of your glory, God. We ask that you will forgive us, God, for when we were hustling and bustling and tugging and fighting you, God, because you know the best that the, the, the best thing that you have for us. We, we apologize, God. We repent, Father God. We ask that you will create in us a clean heart, God, and renew a right and loyal spirit within us, oh God. Point out anything in us that offends you, God, and bring us into right standing, Father God. Search us, oh God, today, Lord. Scan us, oh God, oh God. Put down your searchlight from heaven, oh God, and, and pull out anything that does not bring you glory in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, God, that we have access to you, Father God. We thank you, God, that we can come up under arrest, God, that we can come up under your protective care, Father, that we can come up under your plans, God, that we can come up under your promises, Father, that we can come up under your instruction, God, that we can come up under your direction, God, that we can come up under your vision, God, that we can come up under you, Father, and you will comfort us, God, like never before, God, that you will wrap us in your wings, God, and bring us into glory, Father, that you can wrap us in your wings, God, to take us from glory to glory, oh God, that you can wrap us in your wings and know that everything will be okay, God, that we can come and cry to you, Father, that we can come and run to you, Father, that we can come and tell you the deepest, dark secrets of our hearts, Father, the things that concerning the, concerns us, Father, that you can perfect those things, Father God, that we can come up under you, God, that we can come up under you, Lord, mm -hmm. that we can come up under you, Father, knowing, God, that what you have in mind is not what we have in mind, knowing that you want to bring us the maximum where we're settling for the minute things of life, Father, God, so that you can, we can come up under your arrest, Lord. We can come up under your arrest, Lord. Father, there's no one like you, Father. There's none that compares to you, Father. None, 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 God. You have no rival. You have no equal, God. So we will submit. We will surrender in the name of Jesus, God. We will bring, our, bring ourselves low, God. We will humble ourselves before you today, Father, in the days to come, Father God, that you will continue to search us, God. Search us, God. Search us today, Lord. Search us, God, if there's anything that's causing us not to surrender, God, burn it up in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Where there's resistance in the spirit, Father God, burn it up in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Where there's a fight, God, where there's friction, where there's a wall, where there's barricades, Father God, where there's things that's in the way of getting to our hearts, God, burn it up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need you, Lord. We need you like never before today, Father. We need you to come in, God. We need you to come in and, and sweep through our atmospheres, Father. We need you to come in and sweep through our minds, Father. We need you to sweep through our affairs. We need you to sweep through the things that we see, Father, the things that we feel, God. We need you to sweep through in the name of Jesus, God. Hey. Rabbi Sanda, we need you to sweep through our hearts in the name of Jesus. We need you to sweep through our will in the name of Jesus, God. We need you to sweep through, God, <laughs> Hey, because if you don't come, it can't be done in the name of Jesus. If you don't come, it cannot be done, Lord. We bow before you, Holy Spirit. We bow before you, King, Father. We bow before you, God. We bow before you, Rebere Kusha. We bow before you, our Lord, our King, our Savior. We bow before you, Lord. And we say you can have your way in us. 
You can do what you want to do, God. You can move how you want. Hey, Rabala Kosha. You can move how you want to move. You can sift us, God. Hey, you can shake us up, God. You can sift us, God. You can cut. You can break in the name of Jesus. You can break on down. You can build back up in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, God, for this, this life union, this relationship that we have with you, God. Thank you, God, that, that we have. We can come up under your, your grace. We can come up under your mercy. We can come up under you, Lord, and know that everything will be all right, God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, God. And every tongue that raises itself up against us in judgment shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that the enemies that we see today, we will no longer see, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you, God, that you are fighting for us, God, that we have only to be still, God, that we have only to keep our peace, God, that we have only to be silent, Lord. We thank you, God, that where we're weak, you're strong, hey. We thank you, God, that you're teaching us, God, how to wait on you, God, how to wait on your promises, how to wait on your plans, how to wait on you, Father. I thank you, God, as it says in Isaiah 40, 31, Father, that, that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, Father. They will mount up on wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And in that same chapter, Father, in verse 28 or 29, you said it in your word that you will strengthen those that are weak and you will increase power to those that are weary, God, when we come up under arrest. So have your way, Father. Have your way today. Have your way, God. Give us the grace to be still, God. Hey, give us the grace to submit. Give us the grace to surrender, God. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we seal this prayer with the blood. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen, 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 y'all. You know what we mm. did. We bombarded heaven with that. <laughs> we bombarded heaven with that. And in today's message, man, if it didn't prick you, I want to challenge you to go back and listen mm. to it again. Because there's something in each of our lives that we ought to come under the arrest of the Holy Spirit and allow yeah, 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 yeah. God. Only God can yeah. be God in our lives, not anything and not anyone. And so mm. I'm just grateful, Alameda, that you have uh, yielded yourself so much to allow Holy Spirit to speak through you today and influence all of us and impact us with the truth of God's word. Um, wow. Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate Glory you. Be to God, man. How can the people connect with you? Y'all can connect with me on different places. Um, <laughs> um, so you you all can connect with me on Facebook. My name is Abonale, A-B-O-L-A-N-L-E, Alamade, O-L-A-M-I-D-E, um, G-U-A-G-I-W-A. That's on Facebook. On Instagram, my Instagram handle is at Abonale.Alamade. Okay. Abonale again, A-B-O-L-A-N-L-E dot O-L-A-M-I-D-E. And then you can also find me on YouVersion, on the Bible app. I'm on there as well. <laughs> Same up, thing. Uh, <laughs> and yes. Yes. What about your um, artist page? Ooh, my artist page. Wow. Duh, love you paint. <laughs> Thanks, love. So <laughs> at <laughs> underscore arise, A-R-I-S, the number three underscore. So if you guys just connect with her on her main page on Instagram, she's going to have the other pages linked um, with yeah, it, it is mm -hmm. right now in her bio. So just make sure to connect with her on Instagram. She's pretty active on there. Her, her uh, Instagram story and her, what do they call it? A feed. It's beautiful. She's very um, talented, even in graphic and, and producing and coordinating like y'all. She is really the modern day Renaissance woman. So if you have a project, you're out in the LA area or you need to fly somebody in for a photo shoot or woo, woo, wah, I want you to holler at your girl. <laughs> She's going to carry Amen. the spirit with her wherever she goes. So you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much again, Alama Day, for joining us today and being Absolutely. our guest intercessor here on the Effectual Fervent Prayer Podcast. To everybody listening and watching, thank you. Thank you for being present. 
thank you for sharing this message because I know that you will. Any news that we have about Jesus is good news and it's what we need to share is what we ought yeah. to be spreading. No, none of that gossipy stuff, none of that shade room stuff, but the, the good news that's actually gonna change and transform people's lives and get them to an eternal heaven with an eternal God, that's really what's shareable. So thank you. Thank you for taking it upon yourself to share this message and encourage yeah. somebody in their faith walk today and to help people to know, hey, it's all right to come underneath the arrest of, of the on, come on, so that your thing. life can be different. <laughs> all right, yeah. y'all. I love you so much, you guys. We love you so much. Love and as always, stay fervent.